Hey guys, welcome to another Server Miner plugin tutorial. I'm your host, LTDIM007, and today we're looking at the Jewels plugin. So, as the name would suggest, this plugin allows you to duel another player, a one versus one, using different kits and from different arenas. It's really easy to set up, so we're just going to jump straight into it. Now, if we do forward slash jewels help, that's going to show us all of the commands. And then while we're in here, what we can do is actually look at the kits that are available. So, if you do jewels kits and then list, we're going to see the three kits that I've currently got. So the default, that one is just by standard and then diamond and archer, I created those myself and um, we'll show you how to create some later. And what you actually want to do is actually choose one of these before you go dueling. So I'm going to choose the diamond kit and there we go. We have selected diamonds. So once we get into a duel with my other accounts, we will see that we have that one. So another thing we can do is obviously look at the leaderboard. So if we do four slash jewels leaderboard, you're going to see who has the most wins. Now, my other account currently has the most wins, and I'm in second place, and it's only us two uh, who have currently played in the arenas. So let's go ahead and join one. So I've created one earlier, and it is called Test. And once you join it, it kind of puts you in a waiting room. You go, don't get teleported anywhere. You have to wait until the other player joins. So I'm going to grab my other account. Here he is, and he is going to perform the same command. So Jules kits select and this one is going to be archer and then we're going to do jewels join and test from other account and then you can see it goes dark and then we are in the arena that i've created and you can see this is what i've got for kit diamond and then my other account has got all of this stuff for his kit so as you can see we could be dueling in here right now i'm going to hit my other account and hopefully knock him off so I can actually win and be tied with him so I'll go over there and that should put me as the winner and it says you won the duel and now if I were to check the leaderboard I am now well joint first with him uh, because I won that one so that's how easy it is to uh, play it's very simple to see who is best at PvP so now that we've shown you what it's like to play in the arena how do we set one up well we need to force us jewels arenas and then we can do a few things. So we need to actually create one first. We're going to call it server miner. And then all we need to do now is set a couple of spawns. So I'm just going to use the same arena as I did last time. And we need to four slash jewels arenas set spawn one. And that's going to be for server miner. There we go. Spawn one has been set. And then surprise, surprise, go to the other spawn and do the same command but replace the one with the two. That is going to set both spawns. Now this arena is ready to join. Once we've done that, we can actually look at kits. So if you want to just grab um, some random items for a player, uh, they can put on armor like so, maybe some boots as well, give them some food, anything like that, we can create a kit. So let's do four slash jewels kits and then create and we call this uh, Axe Man. And then we go. Now if we were to do kit list, that will show four kits now. And a player could select this. Obviously, you could use enchantments or other items, uh, but that is how you'd create it normally. And as you can see, those are pretty much all of the commands. It's a very, very simple plugin, but it's easy to use and it does the job properly. So here we are in the SMP control panel, and as you can see, there are two YML files stats.yml, that just saves you data, you don't have to worry about that. And then config, there's not too much in here. We've got a few things, so force health. Uh, up at the top that's pretty important so when a player teleports in they both start with 100% health then we've got all the messages that will occur once uh, certain things happen and then we've got the various kits that you create in game so don't worry about these it's just a load of gibberish but it saves the data of the kits which you set in game and then it also saves the arenas and what world they're in so that is everything in the config as I said not much in there don't really need to touch it if we head over to the speaker page, you can see it's updated from 1.17 to 1.18. Here are the commands, here are the permissions, and that is the plugin. So if you want to download it, head over to the speaker page. But if you need a server to host it, on check out serverminer.com for the best and cheapest hosting around. But that's it for me. Subscribe, like, comment, and I'll see you next time.